And I am Stuart. And I hate this yellow light. We gotta get a better light for the car. You can leave that in there. As well. <laughs> <laughs> but I just have this wonder why we look yellow. Yeah, we're in the car, guys, and it's getting pretty dark out. But we just left um, Lucille's. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me get the. Let me get the, the bag so they can see. Oh, but it's gonna get the bag for you guys. We had lots of leftovers, but Lucille's Moke House Barbecue is what we just left. Um, I had their um, two piece combo, so I got burnt ends and I got the Alabama style chicken. Mm -hmm. My sides were uh, mashed garlic, mashed potatoes, and coleslaw. Uh, I got the two meat combo as well. Um, but I got the beef ribs and I got um, sliced beef brisket. My size was macaroni and cheese, which was heaven sent. <laughs> um, and then I had watermelon slices from my yeah. other side. Oh, and our, um, hold on guys, let me switch this. There we go. And our um, sides were big amounts. Yeah, they was large. Like, they was like nice decent portions. Amount. Our drinks came in these at least twenty four ounce mason, mason jars. jars. No, it was the thirty two ounce. Thirty two ounce mason jars. Yeah. And yeah. then when you leave, if you get it to go, you get a cup this damn big. I don't know. This is my head, and this is <laughs> 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 pretty big. Yes. So, um, the portions, the food, but um. The, I hate that light. Oh my god! But that the portions of the food was really good. Mm -hmm. Um, like it was big. Like I'm a big boy and I couldn't eat all my food. Um, so we got some beef ribs to take home to the kids. We got some tri tip. No, I'm sorry, not tri tip. Burn ends. Mm -hmm. We got some brisket, which you know both is brisket. But um, and we got some other um Alabama chicken. Um, and we took so they had these biscuits, y'all. These biscuits, they come with an apple butter. And it's not the apple butter that you get from the store. No. That's brown and look like burnt apple sauce. Not that. It do look like burnt apple sauce. You know I love apple butter, but um This was whipped. This was actually whipped butter with like a apple flavor, like seasoning. I don't know what the hell it was, but Man, it was so good. We was like, the kids got to try this. So we took them some of their biscuits, which their biscuits had like some sweet stuff on it. Yeah, it, it was um, had a sweetness to it. So we took that for the kids and some of the meats that we had. Um, I need to turn these lights off. Now you can't see our black asses at all. But um, overall, honestly, this is the best barbecue that we had in Vegas. What you think, man? I would definitely say so. Like overall, the customer service was nice. Even like our reservation was at 5:30. We got there like maybe 10 minutes before, and they got us seated. Put mm -hmm. it like this: by 6:13, we had been seated. We had ate and had got our to-go bag. That's just how on time and on point the service was. Like, and the food was fresh. So like nice and fresh. Everything was hot. It was juicy, tender. I can say, hold on. This goddamn macaroni. Yeah. yeah. Normally, places don't have good macaroni and cheese. If y'all know some places that got good macaroni and cheese, let us know uh, in the comments. But this damn macaroni at Lucille's Smokehouse Barbecue, hey, I almost had a TMI. <laughs> that macaroni was so goddamn good. It was. Like, it was super good. cheesy. The, um, 
the the macaroni noodles was tender. They wasn't like I don't know about y'all, but I cook my pasta a little past al dente. I don't like that bite still to my. I don't like that. Nah. Um, but it was perfectly cooked, super cheesy. The flavor was on point. It tastes like it was some type of like it was definitely some garlic in there, mm -hmm. and it tastes like it might have been like some paprika, like some smoked paprika or something. But that shit was so good, like. I just had to get, we had to be here talking about that. So like, it was bomb. <laughs> <laughs> the coleslaw, because I'm a, I'm a big coleslaw person. The coleslaw was very, very good as well. If you're not a super big vinegary person, um, you may not like the coleslaw. It did have, to me, it had a, um, a strong vinegar taste. Babe said he didn't really taste it. But, but I like vinegar though. Yeah. Like, I like sour, like yeah. tart type stuff. But it was really, really good. Their garlic mashed potatoes, you tasted the garlic. There was some butter in there. And they were like the baby red potatoes. So you had like the little red skin in there. It was amazing. Now, this is the thing. I will show you this, right? The potatoes was fire. They were. Yeah. But they was my least favorite side. Really? Because I don't like... I don't like the skin. Like, I don't put that in my mashed potatoes. I don't like it. If you going to cook the mac, peel the skin off, you lazy. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> But no, I just don't prefer the skin. I don't, it was not nasty. It's not nasty. It's a texture thing. Mm -hmm. I don't really like it. Um, the watermelon was the perfect amount of sweet to, to kind of like that palate cleanser. Um, and I really love the fact that they offered, like you were saying, the fresh fruit as a mm -hmm. side. It was, it was really nice. Yeah. Overall, um, I'll let Babe give her rating, rating, but for me, this is our, what, third barbecue spot here? Mm -hmm. Um, Y'all seen John Moe's. Y'all seen we went there. Um, Did we show? Yeah, yeah. we showed them Jesse's, too. Because that's the day we went to took the kids on the road to New York. Yep. Y'all saw Jesse's, too. Jesse's was really good, too. Um, I ain't gonna lie. If I had to rank them right now, John Moe's is at the bottom of the list. Because um, Jesse's, I like what they do with their stuff. It's different. It's definitely not like traditional barbecue, but it's really good. Um, and I'll be sure to link the thumbnails for those videos so you guys can go back and watch them in yeah. this video. Um, John Moe's, like the brisket at Lucille's compared to John Moe's is night and day. John Moe's, they cut theirs way too thin to the point where it be it's tough. It's not like yeah. juicy or nothing like that. But Lucille's was on point. I'm talking about everything about it. Every meat we had, the sauces were amazing. Uh, we had the Alabama white sauce. We had the Memphis sauce. Um, that was on the beef ribs. Mm -hmm. And then we had the hot and spicy, which was on the brisket. Right. The Alabama sauce is really good, too. It is a, a, like a white um, so sauce. sauce yeah. Somebody looking for that girl. But, um... All these alarms is going off now, now guys. Like, I got all the people like looking for their vehicles, so they pushing the panic button. But you never right. press the panic button right in front of your car. Right. And he stopped. Like, oh, this is right here. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> but um, the Alabama um, sauce that was on the chicken, it um had. It had a, um, a mustard flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, just so you guys are aware of that, it did have a little mustard. But it was not a super strong, overpowering mustard flavor. It really, really worked. Mm -hmm. And you got a half a chicken, which I still had two pieces of my four left. It was a lot of food. Like, it was a lot of food. It was. Um, so, but to I cap would, it over my, mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Then. I would say, I would definitely go back. I definitely would give that service, food, and all of that. I would give it a five out of five. Mm hmm Me? Um, my bad, y'all. I was just trying to see if we can get some better light. But, um, me? Wait, what did you give it? A five out of five? Five out of five. So, if we doing a five, ranking scale of five, um, I definitely would give it a five out of five as well. Um, I don't know, like I said, everything was just fresh. Um, our waitress was amazing. Like she was fast with everything she did. 
But you know how like some people they move fast and like, they don't mean harm, but because they move so fast they come off as rude and mm -hmm. they come off as like they don't really care. She has that where she is fast, but it's still she's still engaging and she's still showing like that she gives a damn about your experience. Yeah. Um I didn't I wish we would have called her name, but we didn't. But um she was amazing. Five out of five. I'm full. Now we're about to get ready and um in case y'all didn't know, we on a date night. I took this young lady out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, we about to go to the next part of our date. Uh, we about to get out this car because we turned it off so the air not on and it's hot as shit right now. Yeah, it's still like so, You got anything else to say, baby? I don't. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace. It's just different. When it be all of my men's I'm from the trenches, went to say yeah, been where I've been through Left me on red, left for dead, man, it's really that simple Now I'm too lit, all of my shit, designers are original